this is just strawberry milk, but it's so good. I love it. I have been in the pink for 36 years, and I am the pinkest person in the world, officially. I started this pink adventure on my 20th birthday. I had on head to toe pink. It made me feel something. It, it touched my soul. It gave me everything I needed. And from then on, I just wanted to drown in pink, so to, so to speak, and that's what I've done. What do you think is in the bag? Just take a look into the apartment and what do you think is in the... Dress. A dress? But what color? Of course. <laughs> I was hoping so. This is not the dress that I ordered. That's purple! Kissy's not even interested in it. I see the Pink Lady of Hollywood everywhere. I see it in lights. I see it on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I should be the mayor of Hollywood. I should be the person that greets the new people that come in. Hello, darling. Let's go. And I'm a tour guide. Everybody knows the pink lady in West Hollywood. <laughs> She's a neighborhood fixture. She's noticed everywhere she goes, and she takes that energy and uses it to power herself more to be out there. Everywhere she goes, people are taking photos, they're hanging out of cars taking photos. They're... If you keep it monochromatic, you can't go wrong, right? Give me a hot dog. Yes. I love my telephone, I love my telephone, I love to hear it when it rings. I came out to Hollywood just to live the dream. So in the beginning I would be like, oh, I'm a struggling artist. And my friend would say, don't say you're a struggling artist because you will always be a struggling artist. I finally got it, what it means to feel rich, think rich, and you I just hope and I've inspired people just to be themselves and just to do what they love and don't hold back, embrace it.